are at the client command booth now, okay? And let me tell you a little something about client command. One of the things that I love about them right out of the gate is the culture of the company. They're all about the people. And I follow them online, I follow them on LinkedIn, and they do some really cool things. And they are, they are a company that gives back to the community. You know, they're not, all, they're not just about the buck. They're about making our community a better place for everybody. And they've got some really cool software. So I'm here with Eric, and Eric is gonna to talk to us about some of the things they do and how it would benefit you to get to know a guy like Eric. Awesome. How are you, Eric? I'm doing great. So I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna take a little bit of liberty and say, from a dealer's perspective, this is what the landscape looks like. And what I mean by that is the customer nowadays has the ability to do the vast majority of their searching behind the scenes. And about 60 to 75% of the way through their journey, that's when they finally engage the dealer. But at that point in time, they already know how long you've had the vehicle in stock, approximately what you paid for it, what they can buy that same vehicle for 150, 200 miles away. They've got a pre-approval from their credit union, and they can even have a check in their hand from a third party that's gonna buy their trade in. They walk into your store and they go, here's the deal I want, can you beat it? If they even walk into your store. You're absolutely correct. Because if they've done all that work, there's a good chance they may not even make it to your store. I completely agree. At Client Command, I want to level the playing field. What I mean by that is so we're going to show you exactly who's in your marketplace, what they're shopping for, and we're going to help you get in front of them with a marketing mix and a marketing cadence day one. Hashtag data. So at the end of the day, I can guarantee that they'll buy from you, not your competitor down the road. Let's dive in. Right now in the United States, we've got 3.1 people, 3.1 million people actively shopping for a vehicle. It's a lot of people. Let's throw into our backyard here. We're hanging out in Las Vegas for the week. There's 21,741 people looking for a vehicle within 20 miles of where we're sitting at right now. What if we were working with a Subaru store? There's 1,863 people actively looking for a Subaru. We can stop right here. I could walk into your office, give you this data, and I've effectively made your marketing almost 10 times more efficient by eliminating about 19,000 people that aren't looking for what you have in stock. But we're not done. There. Now, here's where that's key for everybody to understand, okay? Uh, I was servicing my, my Lexus, one of my previous cars, at a, they, they had two franchises, Lexus and Chevrolet. I had Lexus, that's what I brought in for service. Yet, to this day, I continue to get marketing pieces for a Chevrolet truck, which I will never drive. I have nothing against Chevrolet trucks, but it's just not the vehicle for me. Yet, they're spending money to market a truck to me that I will never buy, whereas here, get 1,863 active shoppers on specifically what it is that you have in stock and what what they're looking to buy. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Now, let's have some fun, because we're big brother. Wait, I thought we were already having fun. Oh, we're having a ton of fun. I want to have more fun. I want to have more fun with you, because what we do at Client Command is pay attention to basically about 90% of the internet-connected devices in the United States. And with that reach, I get over 60 billion URL data points every single night. Now, we now know exactly what the customer is doing from an offline perspective and we can mirror that with their active shopping behavior and I can deliver this up to our dealer partners. Age of the customer, gender, how many kids are in the household, household income, exactly what they're looking for in terms of a vehicle and more importantly how many days that customer has been in the market. So That's you don't have information, you're catching them early in the cycle. Absolutely. You guys don't have to sit back and wait for that customer to engage you. We can lean in and be proactive and put a marketing mix and a marketing cadence in front of this customer tomorrow that's specifically designed to get her to exhibit the behavior we want, i.e. choose that Subaru Impreza, and more importantly, buy it from you guys. 
Now, you, you look up permissions as well as part of what you do regarding marketing too. So when that customer engages something not necessarily automotive related, yeah. they've given us their permissible terms. That's where we're able to get in front of this customer well before the dealer can, because if the dealer's not allowed to engage that customer if they've never done business with them in the past, until that customer goes, hey, Mr. Dealer, I'm in the market for a vehicle, can you help me? And they typically don't have access to knowing whether or not somebody's been given permission. You're absolutely correct. So with us being attached to everything else that customer's doing offline, not automotive related, we get that permissible purpose on behalf of the dealer and can now start pushing the dealer's marketing mix and cadence specific to that customer. So at the end of the day, we can guarantee that sale. That's pretty impressive technology. I seem to think so. Because, you know, so there's so many spray and pray programs out there, but this, you're kind of putting a scope on the rifle that's infrared. I love the analogy. It's seven years in the Marine Corps, so when you go with it, with a, with a, um, a sniper type approach, I love that analogy. That's true targeted marketing. Absolutely. Yeah, and with everybody basically playing in the same sandbox right now, because 85 to 90 percent of the new cars are sold before they even hit the trucks to right. ship to your store. We're now looking at the Chevrolet store competing in the same sandbox as the Hyundai store as the independent store because everybody basically has the same mix right. of used cars. Right. So it's that much more important to get in front of that customer day one with the inventory that you have in stock. Today. We're not going to push Hyundai Elantra messages to a Hyundai customer if you don't have those vehicles in stock. Right. How many times does somebody get a, a marketing piece from somebody else, uh, some kind of uh, lead lo uh, loss leader special, on a car they can't even get? Absolutely. What's the point? What's the point? You're just wasting your money. Yeah. And now you're getting a frustrated customer because they think they can get what they're looking for from you, but you don't have it. So let's put relevant content in front of the customers that we know are searching for exactly what you guys have in stock. That's targeting. 